Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make Kathy Knave's Advanced Level Valentine Heart Bracelet. To make this bracelet, you're going to need about 80 rubber bands total, a loom in a staggered configuration, and your hook. To begin, you want to pick three colors. You will need about 44 rubber bands in the color that you want your border to be. You'll need six in the color that you want these arrows to be. I'm using black here. I very much recommend using transparent rubber bands if you have them. The result is great. Rainbow Loom sells these on their website. And then you'll need 15 rubber bands in whatever color you want the hearts to be. Each heart uses five rubber bands. So if you want them all to be one color, that's 15. And if you want them to be different colors, it's five each. The original design, if you'd like to see it, I'll link to here. That's Kathy's own Rainbow Loom YouTube channel. Uh, she asked me to recreate this design for her though because a few people were struggling. So I've simplified a few steps and added this chart uh, to hopefully make this go a little easier for you. But I do recommend checking out Kathy's channel because she keeps coming up with really cool new designs and who knows what she'll put up there next. So to begin laying out the rubber bands for this pattern, we're going to do the middle row first. That will let us hook the hearts in the easiest way later. So to begin with, I'm going to be repeating this pattern. I'm going to be using white, red, and black, but I'm going to refer to them as the border color, the arrow color, and the heart color, so that those of you who are making a different pattern of colors can follow along easier. So set up your loom with your arrow pointing away from you and we're going to start on that center peg with the border color. Then a single rubber band in the arrow color and a single rubber band in the heart color. One of the border color I just said border, that's not the border, that's the arrow. Let me start from the beginning. So that was border, arrow, heart, arrow. And then border color. Forgive me for any confusion. Uh, this chart is available to download at madebymommy.com. It will help you follow along because you'll see that's what I've just done here is my border color, arrow, heart, arrow, border. And now we're going to repeat your arrow color, heart color, arrow color, border color, and then arrow, heart, arrow. Now that you've added that center row of rubber bands in the pattern border, arrow, heart, arrow, border, continuing, we're now going to add the bottom edges of our heart. So we're going to take a single red rubber band or whatever your heart color is from the left to the diagonal below and from the diagonal up to the right so that now you've formed a triangle where the heart will be and we're going to repeat that for the two other hearts on the loom from the left side of the heart down to the right and then from that peg back up to the right and repeating again from the left side of the heart down to the right and then again from that peg up to the right. And to complete our middle row 
we're going to add a cap band on each corner of the hearts. You take your single rubber band, stretch and wrap it around three times if you can. Uh, depends on the type of rubber band you're using, whether you'll do two or three times. So you're going to repeat that. There and here. Just wrapping that around the single peg three times. Pull, twist, and wrap around. Sometimes I like to think about making sort of a figure eight and folding it over on itself to remember what to do here. There you go. And now you have placed all of the red rubber bands or heart colored rubber bands that you're going to be using for the entire design. And we can start laying out the border. I'm using white. Use whatever color you want, starting the center peg where the arrow is down to the right. And then we're just going to go one rubber band at a time all the way across. I've seen some people make their border with two rubber bands at a time. It's a cool effect if you have the extra rubber bands to spare. A little harder to do all the looping, obviously, when there's two rubber bands. This design, I think, actually comes out great with even just one. So I'm just going to use one here. And on this one, you'll see at the end, we're not going to come in on the diagonal like you would for a starburst uh, because we want this pattern to be even. So I'm going to show you in a little bit how we're going to make believe that there's an extra peg here. And that's sort of what's represented here, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, we're going back to this first peg and up on the diagonal. And then again, laying our rubber bands one at a time in a straight line. People have asked me to play music for this part, but I never know what type of music you all like. So if you need to put on your radio while you loom with me, that's a great idea for some of these repetitive steps. There you go. So now we've added the white on the diagonal and all the way along the whole length, one rubber band at a time. And now so that we can pretend that there's an extra peg at the end of here so that we can have a perfectly symmetrical design. We're going to take a single rubber band and we're going to twist a figure eight, fold it over so that it's doubled on the hook. We're going to take another rubber band and slide that doubled over rubber band to the center so that it looks like this. So you've got the double double rubber band with one through it folded over. And then we're going to place this onto the center peg here. Now if we had had another peg, this would be wrapped around it over there. But instead, we're going to use this to now connect to the two other sides. So putting your hook through that doubled over loop, catch the rubber band that you just placed on this peg, pull it through the center, and fold it over. See that? And now we're going to repeat that on this side. So lay your rubber band loose on here, put your hook in the center of that doubled over band, catch your rubber band, 
into the center and pull it over. And that's how we pretend that there's one extra peg on the loom so that your design can be even. And we've got a couple more rubber bands to place. For our cap bands, you're going to take the border color. You're going to place it everywhere you see one of these lines, but I want you to place them like a figure eight. So to do that, I just took it, folded it over, and then place on both sides. And we're going to repeat here. We're going to repeat there. So you're going to have one on the left of the heart, three in between. We're going to do three in between here and then one more on this side. There you go. And now we have just three more of your border color rubber bands to place. They're going to be left loose for now because we'll hook them later. They're going to go directly above each heart. You're going to take one and just leave it there for now. We're going to hook it later, but this way all your rubber bands will be in place and we can get rid of the chart. And that's the last one. So that is all the rubber bands you'll need other than the extension if you want to make this a bracelet. So okay, so now we are ready to get our hook and to start at the bottom left. This is where you'll see the arrow point is. That's the side you have to do first for this one. So beginning at the bottom, We've already placed a cap on in back when we were pretending there was an extra peg. So we're going to make sure that we've separated that cap from the one underneath. Reach back with your hook and catch that rubber band underneath and pull it forward. And we're going to keep going on a straight line all the way up this side, pulling back the cap bands when we're on those and making sure not to catch the red rubber bands underneath at this point. We just want that one in the border color to bring forward. And we keep going again. More and more. So many rubber bands when we're doing bracelets. <laughs> this one comes out so cute though. It's worth the work. Straight. And then on this last one, you catch it and you bring it to the center peg. Okay, so now we've done the bottom row of the bracelet. Oh, I knocked that one off for later. And we're going to now bring up the bottom points of our heart. So coming in, we're going to catch the top red rubber band and we're going to pull it onto that right peg. So you want to make sure when you place this that the rubber band you put on top that you're neat about it and you put it on top of that cap band. It really makes the results look neater. 
So I'm going to now catch this rubber band that remains and I'm going to pull that up to the left half of the heart and placing it on top of that red cap band. The next heart, you take the rubber band that's on top and bring it over to the top left portion of the heart and then you catch the bottom one and bring it to the bottom right half of the heart. Now this is a little unusual for looping because what we're doing here is taking the rubber band that started on this peg, bringing it underneath and over here. Repeat one more time. Take that top rubber band which starts here underneath the cap, pull it up and over to the left, and then the bottom one up and over to the right. And that's your basic heart shape. And now we're ready to do the center row. So coming back to the beginning, we've already got this cap established. We're gonna reach in and get our arrow color and bring it forward. And then we're gonna reach in here and make sure we catch the heart color that's all the way on the bottom. Around and forward. This one's a little easier to pick out, the arrow color in between all of those reds. And just keep going straight ahead. There you go. Now we've done the whole center row. And for those of you like me who have knocked your loose bands off, now is when you're going to need them. So make sure you have one band above each heart. And for this, you have a choice to make. If you look at uh, Kathy's original video, you'll see these two hearts are quite different. This is a matter of where you place this white rubber band. Decide whether you want to have this sort of deep V for your heart or a shallow V. If you want the deep V, you're going to hook the rubber band in the center of this small triangle here. If you want the shallow V, which is the one I prefer, you're going to place it here. So it's just around these two rubber bands instead of being around all four of these over here. So if you want the shallow V, you take your hook, you place it between this triangle, you catch your rubber band that's loose over here, and you pull it up and over. And then repeat here up and over and those are for the shallow V heart the deep V heart again you'd be going in this spot shallow V here
up and over. Good work, everyone. And we're ready to do the final side. Over here, pull back with your hook and go forward. This bracelet makes a really great gift um, for Valentine's Day, certainly, but really any time. Keep going. Just a few more to go. And this last one, you hook and you bring to the center peg. Hooray! Now the only part that's left is creating the extension that you want for your bracelet. So we're going to take our hooks and place it into here. Catch your rubber band, bring it to the center, place that on the thick part of your hook so you don't lose it, and we can pop off our Valentine hearts. See how that comes out? So cute. Especially when you get on these spots with the heart, you want to make sure you're pinching on both sides so that you don't break any of those rubber bands. The border ones come off pretty easy, but the hearts, there's a lot of rubber bands on a single peg. So yeah, there we go. So there's your three hearts. And to make an extension so that this can fit on an adult sized wrist, I generally add about five rubber bands to each side. Um, you may need more or less. Now where'd I put my C-clips? Oh, here they are. You're gonna need a C-clip too. So to add, I always like my extensions to be symmetrical. So I add them on both sides. So you'll see I'm going to put five on this side and then C-clip and work from the other side. So that was C-clips or S-clips, whatever clip you have are fine. There's no magic on the C-clip for this one. Maybe it matters in other patterns, but for this, whatever clip you have will work. So you just want to clip that side and then go around here and find that cap band that you created before and put five more bands in this side. That way the C-clip is opposite your pattern and it looks really pretty that way. There you go. So stretch that out. Take your C-clip, hook the other side, and now you have your very own Valentine heart bracelet. 
I hope you enjoyed making it with me today. Uh, I have other color examples for you to consider. Uh, these are using the jellies and again with the transparent. This is an example with different colors of hearts so you can see all the variations. I also have a number of other bracelets on my channel. If you liked this one, you may also like my beaded flower bracelet, my side-by-side -side snowflakes. Uh, all these bracelets are on my site. Uh, for those of you who are new to me, I also have a lot of charms. Uh, and if we're in a Valentine's mood, I have a heart, which really makes a beautiful pendant uh, for a necklace. I have a ladybug charm, which is cute. A panda bear face. And I've also taught how to create a charm bracelet, such as this one. So I hope you enjoyed making the Valentine Heart Bracelet with me today. If you did, please click like below. And also consider subscribing so that you can be the first to know when I post additional tutorials. Also, for those of you who don't have accounts on YouTube, there's a link in the description below to an email mailing list. I send out an email just once a week. It reviews what's been posted that previous week and it also gives you a little bit of a hint at what will be coming next. So if you want to be the first to know what video will be up in the following week, then make sure you subscribe to my email list. Thank you again to Kathy Nave for sharing her design with us. And thanks to all of you for watching. Happy looming!